intro. Alright, hey guys, and welcome to Sakari Remastered. I believe a follow-up to original Mario ROM hack that Eevee here had created. And we're doing a follow-up to the game we had played October of 2017, I believe. Last time I tried this, it was still a demo. And I think you can see my file still there. Um, briefly looked into this, just in broken takes and all that fun stuff, but as I recall, and from what little I recall, very fun Super Mario World ROM hack. And um, we're going to restart it just to see if anything's changed. Not that I'll really notice, unfortunately, just because memories. Uh, it's been a while. So that's also part of the reason for restarting rather than going in from, I think we go in from level 25 and just play the new ones. I believe there's 68 exits now, so having 25 shows that this is about tripled in size since last we saw it. So this will be a new stream, a new live Let's Play uh, playlist. Um, so if anybody's wondering who I'm talking to when I'm occasionally talking to people, it's because this is done live. Once upon a time, in the land of Paradia, but treated like a Let's Play, mind you, the ancient Sanguis vampire clan sought for the rise of their deity Nascura. See, I don't even know if this intro was a thing last time. I don't remember anything about vampires in this. just remember hopping around and stuff and it looking pretty. After thousands of years plotting and planning, they were able to shatter the dimensional walls between the mortal world and Demonia from which Nascura came. And so arrived the goddess in Oliver Terror. That is very spooky looking. <laughs> Before long, her children, the Hostake, blighted the land and the Paradian military was helpless. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing about five things already, but that's the way it is. The goddess of life, Reisa, was most displeased with her and the other gods restricted. Reisa's only option was to instill her blessing on a mortal. She chose a young girl known only as Sakari, a depressed assassin seeking redemption for her crimes. Dark past, gotta say. This was her chance. Her one shot. I already made that joke. I don't feel like doing it again. Aided by her robot friend, K-16, which now gives me light to who the other freaking character I was using was back in a couple years ago. Sakari must defeat Nascara's five main minions in order to make the goddess vulnerable. So five bosses sounds like six. Five and then get rid of the big bad. Am I getting that right? And I did unmap. I did unmap the save states for now. I'm not promising I won't start using them later. I like to have chill time. I don't like to be frustrated. It is labeled as a hard ROM hack. I don't. Rem I think we did last run without save states. All right, so we do have the two different characters here. I don't remember the differences. These blocks will change you though. As you can see, a large overhaul of the Super Mario World uh, engine, or just aesthetically mostly. I don't think a lot is overhauled engine-wise, but because uh, if you haven't, if you haven't seen the hacking community. They've been going crazy with Super Mario World ROM hacks for years. I've been watching these dang things, or at least like involved with them since, uh, I want to say like 2006, 2007. On and off, because I just am very indecisive and low attention span like that. ADD, you know, stuff like that. And again, uh, don't really remember a lot of um, this, so replaying this is... Pretty much like playing it fresh at this point, to be honest. I do remember it being a lot of fun. I've played a few before, um, particularly for YouTube and Twitch. Uh, you can look those up, but I, I think I remember this one standing out. Oh, right, and we have an HP meter. Okay. I don't know what this, uh, if I should be hanging on to this P-Switch. It's like ROM hack freaking knowledge for me to be doing that. Mmm, right, the Quantum Gem Rolls. I do remember that. I only, I call them that, but... Oh, you know what? That's fine. Okay. We don't actually want to press that here because I don't want them to go away, but I believe we have a wall jump. Oh, and not really necessary anyways. Okay, are you going to be... I probably needed this somewhere. Was this song here before? <laughs> I'm really embarrassed. I can't think of the name of this, but really familiar song. <laughs> That's fine. Are you a splitter? Or are you just... Obviously, overhaul the football, dude. No, you're just jumping Chuck. Charging Chuck, that's the name. It's all coming back to me. Ah, and falling platforms. This should be our halfway points. Damn right. All right, we can shoot with this character, but I believe twirl spin jump is not a thing. 
Whereas, and this would be the robot, I believe. Whereas this is Sakari, has a spin jump. So it's kind of like an easy mode, hard mode, I, from what I recall. At least that's kind of how I'd categorize it as, but... You know, I'll say a bit of an quite a bit of an overhaul for a hack here, and after this many years, you'd expect so. Okay, I can't remember what this does specifically. I think it actually gives both types of characters projectiles, and correct, it does. So we can actually go back to Sakari here, because I believe she's superior, just in the ability to spin jump. For anybody that's wondering, just because I was going to talk about it, I did remap my spin jump so I can easy, e more easily access it. Anybody playing stuff where you're able to do that, I would recommend you do, just because... Usually they have it on A, and you can't just rotate your thumb on it. That's just a me thing, but uh, it makes sense to me, so. You are technically a blue Koopa. Need to get you in the back. Backstab you. Ooh. Ooh, okay. This is actually... Alright, I'm just so mistrusting from hacks at this point, because... My god, anyone that's watched Proton John back in the day is going to know how... Like... Unreal it... Ah! Alright. It's raining football men now, that are not quite football men anymore. Yes, you know, I see that you can kick that shell, and I'll kick one back at you. There you go. Take you and your shell out. Which I can just throw frickin' shurikens at you. And Genji man over here. Not at all. I'm a somber man. Hate me all you like. <laughs> I like mobility and technicality. Um... Overwatch talks there. Because in case it hasn't been... Abundantly clear, fed, like, a pseudo-addiction to that, since I've got it. Hmm. So I think that just replaced the health thing with that. The ability to get another power-up, which I believe might be one of the only power-ups in the game. I think it kind of works on that. I okay, wait. Yeah, the robot can go through these fields. Okay, that's another difference. I'm not sure what the green coin means. Let's find out here. Ooh, hello. Hey! Hey, why you gotta tease me like that? No! Come back here! I wanna know what that is. That's a one-up. Okay. Of course it's a one-up. It's green. It's a green version of the red heart that we saw earlier. Again, this is why I'm replaying this entirely. I know Evie, thank you, had uh, reached out and contacted me on the original Let's Play I had done. And I appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm glad that I enjoyed the game. And I'm sorry I'm superbly late on this, but, eh, I'm also not, because life happens. And, uh, you go through phases, and you feel like playing things when you feel like playing it. It's a wonderful game, though. R the scrolling cloud thing reminds me of playing Super Earth Defense Force. But yes, I will be sure to contact you to let you know this is out now, when it is. And thank you once again for taking the time to view through my series, and... Hopefully take some of my inputs, I'm sure. I won't even remember what they were, but I'm pretty easy going at the same time. What is this Moonlight City doing? Sakari's home in Moonlight City. It's got a lot of charm. I will say that much more. Ooh, this is... Pretty sure this is new. Okay, is it just me, or do these trash cans look like a face? And a bit of, like, shoulders protruding. It's like, you know, they're, they're becoming... They're becoming humanized, and it's it scares me. Can't go through the door. And bob her head, though. Do the up-down. Oh, she covers her face. Okay, I see. Hotel. With three entrances. And two of which are actual doors. One of which is a hole in the wall. Hello. Anna. I'll be scouting ahead for you, too. I just hope I can save Mr. Mervin before it's too late. I believe there's also... Other than the two playable characters, there's supposed to be some sort of other playable characters. Hello? Sakari, fierce and confident. Sakari is reliant on her agility. She can sprint fast and perform basic spin jumps. When powered up, she's able to throw shurikens. The lights of Fresa within her allows her to pass through yellow light beams. Okay. K16. Despite her looks, K16 is almost entirely robotic. She cannot sprint, spin jump, or even swim. She can, however, shoot plasma bolts, and when powered up, is able to charge her shots. Oh. The Eye of Serpos allows her to pass through the green light beams. Green and yellow. Most people go with red and blue. Props are going different. I do the same things. I like being different. I like being weird. It's fine. Oh, wait. Are we not actually able to sprint? I didn't notice that part. Okay, wait. Maybe it's that super fast. Yeah, we can, like, 
run, but like not as fast. Okay, interesting. Oh, and yes, I think that was me charging up the shot. Yes, it is. Okay. I like the options. I do like the differences. It's a very nice touch. Oh no, we're in jail behind. Hotels provide jails. It's fine. Uh, ooh, hello. There's just a sword chill in there. Oh! Hi. Okay. What if those instantly restore health? You know? Oh, I can't stand on those. Can't stand on the toilet. Just all aesthetic things. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. As I recall, soundtrack's always going to be a huge thing for me, and I do remember enjoying this one. I do remember it had Rainbow, Rainbow Road, and particularly GameCube Rainbow Road soundtrack, and that was awesome. And if there's anything I'm looking forward to revisiting, it's that. It's saying something that I'm revisiting a ROM hack, too, because I don't think I've actually done that before. The inclination to do it is uh, harder, because... Uh, there's just so much abundance, it's like, why not play something new? It's kind of the idea of video games in general. But, when you've had a good time, and, uh, you know, when it's uh, user-created like this, and uh, it's been a much-completed hack of something I enjoyed before, I don't see why not. I think we'll be looking into some more, possibly, in the future, but, uh, I don't know. I don't- can I not get one? Yeah, okay. I'm just doing it at the wrong time. This is definitely a Super Nintendo-sounding thing. I was about to say it's reminding me of, um, freaking. why do I want to say Sky Pilots? What the heck am I thinking of? Uh, Flight Sim game, launch title, why am I not remembering it? I love that game. Pilot Wings, there it is. Memory, see? This is my memory. Ooh, ooh hey. A little transparent area there. Nothing up here, I guess, okay. Turn my volume down a bit again, even though as much as I enjoy it. You know, just just gotta chill with it a bit. Don't need my ears being blasted. Regardless of how good stuff is. Love the vibes in this. Love the charm. Um, you'll notice that it's not gonna be necessarily... I tend to go one of... Uh, fuck. One of two ways when I'm um, playing video games and particularly streaming or otherwise. And that is to either comment a lot on what I'm playing or go off on complete tangents. So if I'm not doing a pseudo review the entire time, uh, okay, can't jump on those guys. If I'm not doing like a pseudo review the whole time, then don't sweat it. It's, it's just the way it is. Can't throw those through there. Hmm. Okay. But, and that's just because I, I tend to follow that commentary style. I, I feel like I need to re explain this because I took such long hiatuses, but for anybody new, yeah, I tend to follow the old Let's Play motto of always keeping the commentary going. I don't know if I trust going down there. I don't think that's going to do anything for me. I think we just miss out on a path by doing this by the looks of it. I think something's hiding behind that bush. Aha! Uh -huh. Got an eye for secrets. Also keep in mind, I do have, um, I don't even know what you want to call it, uh, I, I do have my game and it, uh, product that is being used to play this, um, set to anti-alias and all that, um, filter, otherwise I don't know the jargon for all of it. I like the way it looks, I know some people don't, I apologize, ah, but, uh, gotta do you, man. Let's get that power up, cause why not? power ourselves up. We're gonna try and use K16 here. I promise I'll try and remember that actual name. It's gonna be like playing freaking um... Oh god, what's that game? My friend Garrett loves the robot names. Big RPG came out lately. See, this is my memory. This is my memory. Honestly, these days. But, yeah. Regardless. Near Automata. It'll come to me. I just gotta sit here and talk about how poor my memory is and immediately after that I remember exactly what I'm thinking of. Those lakes in the background is like wonderful. Okay, so I oh my god, oh baby, a quintuple. That's 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 what that is, right? Okay, wait. Uh, okay, that still hits the blocks. If I charge it up, it goes through these. Although I'm not really sure what these are supposed to be. Um, aesthetically, I'm gonna say they're girders sideways, some sort of platforms. I don't know how I feel about them aesthetically. They feel kind of out of place, and I don't actually believe I mentioned that last time. Everything else looks wonderful, but then the, we just kind of got these 
like it's I don't want to say it's nearly as bad as a lot of those rom hacks that uh or that it's bad at all for that matter, but that do like just the floating chompers everywhere, but uh kinda of feels like that a bit. If I had one tiny ass gripe right now. <laughs> they do look slightly out of place. That's what I get for criticizing, right? <laughs> I so badly want to do this in those save states because I know how frowned upon they are apparently, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I would say don't be surprised. I think I did this entire playthrough without save states last time, other than the final boss that currently existed at the time, I should say. Uh, because that boss was kind of a pain. Let's go to K16 here. Be interesting if there's like a, one of those, you know, some platformers had those aspects of like, beat the level again through a time trial means and, uh, you know, you, you get, uh, some little extra collectible for it. It's like a particular Pac-Man World 2, but, uh, it'd be interesting if we kind of utilized something like that so there was, like, some sort of, um, and I, I, I might actually be in place, but this is just an idea flowing through my head. Because, uh, the other character's faster. It's nice and all, but when I don't know the levels anyways, there's not a whole lot of incentive to be going that fast anyways. But for, like, people that were able to do so, and there's incentive to do it, it'd be nice to put some sort of time trial mode on that would make it better to place a card. But almost I feel like K16, and I think I felt this way before, is kind of the better way to go generally. But it's not set in stone. Hey, birds. Those are really weird looking birds. I don't know if I actually remember those from last time either. Not super thrilled on that jump. Just need like a bit more room to maneuver there, but eh, whatever. I don't, it is interesting to me that uh, people will write off a lot of user content pretty quickly, but there's a lot of people putting a lot of love and dedication into these things that really shows here, but yeah, I definitely can see the idea behind where it might be irritating because, you know, it, it usually is a whole team and playtesters and stuff, which, in a sense, when I say that, is a lot of playtesting going on with even people like myself technically playtested this game. Or would you even categorize it as that? I don't know. Technically, I think uh, before the game was finished, uh, Evie did see my playthrough, and I'm sure it took some things into account. Ooh, we got spooky music. Stays K16 for now. I do remember most of this stuff I'm seeing. A lot of these styles are pretty visually stand out, especially from each other, and that's always important. As much as I love the original Super Mario World, when it comes like ROM hacks, it's like, I almost feel a lot of better in a way, just because, you know, you can't beat the original, but... Also, is there three moons in the sky? Two full moons and like a... Oh no, that's my freaking... <laughs> I was looking at the bottom corner of the select button HUD <laughs> for the item drop. That's funny. Uh, what was I saying now? That's not short-term memory I'm gonna be. Oh, but yeah, a lot of the, the thing for me is, uh, hmm, hello. Thank you. Oh, these are the usually flippy blocks, which we can get both by the looks of it anyways. Yeah. Oh, did it not want me to grab that, though? Hmm. Um, yeah, I find you, when it's come to any of the hacks I've played, be it for Super Mario World or the ones I've done on the Wii. Ones as in the one I did on the Wii that was fantastic. You get a lot more variety in styling, which I like, uh, honestly. It's one thing I kind of take away from official releases versus the kind of passion and dedication that goes into something like this. Because there's just a lot more charm and creativity almost in the variety. I don't even know if charm's the right word, because obviously Nintendo games are filled with charm to the brim, including Super Mario World. It's probably not the right way of putting it. Can I swim in that water? I don't really want to trust it. There doesn't seem to be any benefit to doing so. I don't... It's going to be really hard for me to say these things for sure, but I don't think this song was this way last time either. Hey Andy, how's it going buddy? Assuming you just got off of work. Ah! Wait, do I also... Oh, do I have a program the same? Interesting. Might actually just be that way on this. Uh, it's just my buttons are functioning the same for uh, Y and A. For the record, I'm using a Wii U Pro controller through Bluetooth. So, probably the best means to be playing something like this. I believe last time I actually did this, it would have been an Xbox One controller. 
So I might have some benefits in the regard of controls. Oh, hello. These quantum gem worlds. I believe this is like the, yeah, the diamonds. We do have a name. I don't know if I had a name last time. <laughs> Saw the stream say, expecting Super Mario World, not expecting this. Well, I mean, Twitch doesn't have a Sakari remaster thing, to be fair. <laughs> but yes, this is a Super Mario World ROM hack. And as you can probably see, Andy, quite an extensive one. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's quite an overhaul. I played it a couple years ago. I know I've said this to the rest of people here, but just for your sake. Played this a couple years ago in October, and uh, it's since been finished by the creator, so. Replaying it. I think it's got three times the levels, folks, I think. Said I was about 25 exits at least. So 68 exits doesn't imply 68 levels, I guess. Multi exit levels. This palace was constructed by the Lunar Cult many ages ago. Sounds Terraria ish. To honor Nova, the god of space, many similar palaces exist in Paradia. I don't want to go back to K16, or at least get my power up. I want, I want my shurikens. I want my projectiles. That's that's the thing I really like. And I like that they're they're straight shooting rather than just uh, the bouncing ones. You know, you typically get from a fire flower, say. Oh, is this a? Was one of those? Yeah. Go with the left side. Come up the right side. This is an element I don't see utilized as often as I'd like. It's again, not super into the hacking community been on and off for years, but still, I've, I've played my things here and there. Dimension space, time, life, will. For the mortal world to function, all five must be in total harmony. Is that what the bosses are themed off of? Dimension space, time. Do we get a space world? Eevee, if you put a space world in this, that is awesome. Just saying that now. I know we had Rainbow Road, kind of night sky, space, ah! Uh, Whoever constructed this castle, you don't put doors in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> As a comment to the fourth wall, not to the creator. <laughs> Just find that funny. Jokes. I <laughs> guess there's that natural tendency to be like, ah, the creator's watching. Um, I'm doing a lot of these, but I try to be as honest as I can. But yes, in that case, a joke at the expense of the design of fourth wall characters. Whoever lives in that freaking castle there, you know? You know what I'm saying? Hey, buddy. Okay, cool. I can see it. Grab the blue thing. Sonic. Okay, I was like, what the hell is that ending from? I know, it's, it's all super familiar stuff. My brain just doesn't work right now. How dare you put Sonic's music in a freaking Mario game? Even though I did it myself, I don't actually care. <laughs> Crystal Mines. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Oh my goodness. Anyone that's played Donkey Kong 64, Crystal Caves, knows exactly what I was hoping for when I saw this, and I'm not disappointed. I don't know if I remember this. I don't know what I remember or not. I'm sure there's a lot of levels added in early worlds, too. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a risk factor, but we're good. Got it. I haven't gotten all those yet. Uh, I came across this game from Super Mario World Central. It's been a hacking community for Super Mario World since, I'll say, 2004, 3, 2, earlier, possibly. Probably, at this point, jeez, tens of thousands of official ROM hacks up there. Uh, I believe this one's, I believe the creator of this game is the current admin of the website. I'm not sure how I, I don't remember anymore how I particularly stumbled upon this game. I think I was looking, I was trying to play the newer release stuff to give feedback. Because uh, usually I played stuff that was finished. I didn't like to make a habit of playing the demos. So that was actually kind of a first for me. I think I think I might have done it for one other on YouTube a couple years ago, but uh, yeah, I, I haven't uh, been a part of the demo process too often. I love that it was just bowled through everything. Okay, ooh, what is that down there? 
Is that like a three up moon? Oh, that's a key. And for some reason I thought the pillar would stop me. Uh, all right, it's fine. We're gonna be okay. I, I believe this is one of those save anywhere rom hacks too. If I'm not wrong. I don't know why you can't shoot those. I don't know what those are actually supposed to be. Those are supposed to be the... No, they're not the fire-breathing dudes. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Can I... Hey, hey, bud. Thank you. I thought, uh, one of these had stuff there. Just that one. Oh, we gotta get that again. I won't trust myself these jumps. A key in death. Yep. That's how it goes. Don't you dare do your thing. I can't see you behind the foreground, dude. You'd be using that foreground on me. How dare you. How dare you. Alright. Part of me is conscious of the fact that I've since moved again. Out, that is. So, I don't live alone. <laughs> Part of me is conscious of oh, what I'm doing. Or how loud I'm being more times, but... Such is life. In case those are wondering about that immensely interesting factoid. Hey. Hey, you guys. Boom. Goes right through ya. 99 HP. I do like that there's an HP system. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so there's gonna be an alternate exit. Let's just go for the regular one first, I guess. Hmm. Like the heads of caterpillars. Oh, like from actual Mario World? Ah! You bastard. Yeah, maybe. I can see it. Can I shoot these guys? These do look like Koopas. Alright, bounce off of you. Use them to vault my way through. Okay, what is, uh... What is down here? Oh, I thought that was something. <laughs> yes, you are very spiky. It's spiky and stuff. I get it. Thank you. Constant projectiles are my friends. Checkpoint. It's kind of interesting thematically how Mario games used to work. Instead of having a difficulty scaler, I believe the intent behind the power-ups was your difficulty scaling. Fun fact. Which is an interesting idea to me, because it's like, the better you're doing, the easier the game is. Which is kind of like reverse of how you expect things to work today. And of course, the whole era of the beat it for you <laughs> things within games. I believe they put that in a lot of the Donkey, the newer Donkey Kong countries. And yeah, it's, I think there's a white Tanuki Mario or something that you can play as. Uh, Yoshi's Woolly World had the pink Yoshi, which for some reason was actually something you should do for at least one level. I don't remember specifically. It probably had something to do with unlockables. So we also live in the achievement era of games now. Well, yeah, it still brings me to that idea that a time trial thing for these would be kind of fun. Not sure how many people would invest that much time into it, but... I mean, it is quite a bit to ask. 68 levels of somebody's time. But it's their choice at the same time. I'm just saying that it's, it's, a, it's a time commitment. Especially with so many out there, so... It's nice to see such passion going into this work. The Bone Koopas, yeah, I like the little ones in the castle. I think that's, I think you're right. I think that's what they are. I just couldn't think of them specifically. Oh, all right. Let's see if we can get through Techno Time. Every single level's a different theme, dude. Awesome. Techno Time. I was expecting like a level like Mario Kart 8's freaking like Electrodome. Oh, maybe. And I'd be right. I do actually remember this now to see it. Oh my goodness. Okay. I should think before I speak. <laughs> Give it a second. Oh man. Oh, that's a bomb? Okay. And my favorite enemy, the one that leaves a freaking pixel of fire behind. Ugh. Give me that diamond. Have I even got all the diamonds yet? I don't pay attention well. Zero one 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 zero zero one one one. <laughs> Is it Bender's big game, the first freaking future ammo movie? Opens up a uh, time travel. Was it time travel or interdimensional rift? Look, they, they explored Jesus time travel and interdimensional rifts in the first two movies, and then the third one was just D and D, I think, and then the fourth one was just something. 
I still remember when I thought there was going to be no more fu actual Futurama TV. It's like, it's kind of things you get told is just dead. And you just believe that it's dead forever. But like, so many things, like, they'll say that, but then they'll have a revival, like, so many years later. Like, it's like a resurgence of TV shows doing that, I believe, isn't there? Well, before that, one lady made, like, some racist comment or something. She had her show come back from, like, ten years ago. I can't think of the names of any of it. I didn't watch the show, original or new form. But I remember that happening. And, I, well, I know Last Man Standing came back, but that was only, like, a year hiatus or something from just TV companies, like, dropping them. Same with Community. I don't think it had a break, though. I think Yahoo just picked Community up, and then Yahoo died, but Community got its six seasons. And not a movie, but, again, probably see the resurgence of something like that in no time. Still haven't actually worked my way through all that yet. I actually bought the complete series. I did manage to watch season five. Are you a bomb? You look like a bird. A bomb bird! Gotcha. Why not both? Am I right? Uh, is there any point to all the spikes there? Speedrunners won't hesitate. Oh, what, to do the speedruns of the ROM hacks? Yeah, probably not. But it isn't like speedruns, you gotta freaking invest so much time just learning the freaking game. Yeah, no, I, I, like I was gonna say, I still need to finish Community. I watched season 5, I remember. And, uh, you know, I think uh, Donald Glover was gone, like, officially. I think he was in for, like, the first two episodes or something weird. And then, from what I've heard, Yvette Nicole Brown's gone on season 6. Uh, and then I think Allison Brie might also be gone, which is like, ooh, now you're losing a lot of the original cast. That's, that's rough, dude. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. I'm sure it's, uh, still just as cleverly written and everything, so. Plus, uh, I mean, they gave Ken Jeong a bigger role in season five as one of the main group people or whatever. And then they brought in that dude, I can't remember his name, but, uh, the guy played Mike in Breaking Bad. And, uh, he did pretty good. And there was, there was some pretty good moments in Season 5. I remember they tried to do their paintball episode quotations, but it was, uh, the floor is lava. And it felt very rushed, but I was glad it was a thing. Because, like, most of the paintball episodes, I think, were two episode parters, and that was just, like, a one, so it felt really quick and done. Compared to the paintball ones, damn it! This, this level matches my over or my background colors really well right now, I think. For the stream. Oh, hello. Oh, so we got a little checkpoint in the regular world. It's K16 some more. <laughs> I love it thematically. <laughs> That's great. Oh, no. Thank you. Oh we, oh, we have to do the level one go to get all the diamonds, which I don't think I've done a ton of. Oh wait, hang on, this is this should be one of those instances. Okay, it's would be for the other character. Where you could actually sprint across these, because they're one gap. Which is usually something you can sprint across, but with K16 here. Uh can you uh Oh, thanks for blowing up that bridge, dude. K16 here, you don't get quite that speed, but it wouldn't matter, because by this point you'd need to parkour anyways. Oh. We hit each other, man. Alright, come on. Thanks, bomb. The bomb bird! I don't know why this gives me a very Cave Story vibe right now, even though it's completely digital looking. They have no corner, would it still work? Uh, I mean, they, they're still one block through, I think. Just because, uh, like, hitbox-wise, I think, yeah, they're still, the corners are still accounted for, right? It's not like a rounded hill or something as a tile, it's, it's a block. Ooh, hello. I think I'm just gonna get the regular exit for now. Was this the level that had the secret exit? I should actually look if the overworld indicates that any different. It would still work because the other character sprints faster. So I think the idea is if you had the other character there, you could make your platforming a bit easier by just running across that. Continue and save. Um, I don't seem to see any indicators that say... Because the Crystal Mines had an extra exit. So I should definitely look for that. Hopefully we can accomplish that <laughs> this time around. Without falling to our deaths. Uh, we should be. We're not fully powered up. We 
Were we just not fully powered up, or did I just... Is it every level starts you out without the power up? Hmm. Good question. Okay. Not super thrilled the way that's laid out, honestly. Could be done. I think you just take away the crystal there in the foreground. Or give yourself a bit more room to maneuver with those freaking skeleton dudes. Slight nitpick, but if I'm going to pick things out, it'll be that. I think this game actually has a sequel now. When I was looking today to find the official new download of this, I believe it has the sequel. So I think, uh, and I think it was Eevee, so obviously. Um, so definitely interested in looking into that. If we hold my attention to this, because my attention span sucks even for shit I love. So, do not fret. Oh, come on. Just because I was off screen doesn't mean I don't want the power up. Thank you. Oh, I need to turn my heater off. My house is freezing earlier. This character has two characters, I think. It might have a second set. You flip between the two, obviously. Okay. I, oh, wait. Okay, I see. Ah! Jeez, that guy almost got me twice. Come to think of it, I don't know if I actually saw a keyhole anywhere. Although, I don't know if it's a keyhole or what in this game. Oh, is it that? Is that why it was called this pointless earlier, but it was actually... Yep, okay. It's kind of hidden behind the foreground. Hmm. Challenge House 1. I think I remember this. I can remember liking whatever these were. Kill the enemies. Very Donkey Kong Country 2, 3-esque. Just by the title there. Oh, you're a bomb. Imagine we can't get... Well, they can just kill each other, dude. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna do more. <laughs> it's gonna say. Oh, I see. Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. These ones will not kill each other. Oh, so you go room by room. Foreground should be on another layer, so it moves as well. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Ugh. Hey, hey. Die. Thank you. I could have shot him, couldn't I? I could probably get screen killed too if I stayed up there. Stop jumping! Oh, I need you to get up there. Actually, no, I don't. Lies. Lies and slander. Okay. We will kill them all before I die, I promise you. Oh, hey, bomb, you wanna. Yeah, you wanna kill them for me? No? Okay. Yay. <laughs> It's a 16 counter. Is that just the coin counter? I didn't actually notice that part of the UI. Hello. Uh, yep, let's keep taking those hits. That'll be great. Oh, how the heck are we gonna kill you? Or does walking off screen count? Okay. <laughs> Is he over here now? It doesn't seem that way. And an extra life for doing it. Interesting. But you probably can't. Yeah, you can probably die doing that too, so. Oh. Might be a shorter one today, folks. I'm already feeling it. It's nice to get back to it, though. Uh, continue and save. Now, we do have... Was I missing secret exits? It would be nice to be able to tell. You know? Hmm. I think they actually did take the liberty of adding it so you could have your lives carry over from a save file. But, just in case not... Do have that programmed? And I think it's programmed too. Yeah, okay. It's on my keyboard, not to worry. Um, I think that's gonna do it for now. Thank you, everybody. We will see you next time.